in this video, I'm gonna tell you what I do if I find a dead out colony in the spring. So the very first thing that I do if I find a dead out colony in the spring is I bung up the entrance. Don't care how many live bees are in there, I wanna restrict any access or egress to that hive, either by bees that are already in there or bees that are gonna go in there and rob it out. First thing I do, completely seal it up, and then it gives me a little bit of time to deal with that colony. My worst fear is that that colony's died through AFB or EFB. I just don't know at this point, but by bunging it up, taping around the joints if necessary, make sure the bees aren't getting in any other way, you're isolating that disease risk and you're stopping it spreading throughout the apiary. Now there's a couple of ways to move on from here. What I would recommend is taking that hive away somewhere completely isolated, opening it up, and then if you want to, you can try and assess what's gone wrong. Nine times out of 10, I would say it's gonna be a failed mating, or you might have a starvation issue on your hands. Finding foul brood is basically impossible at that point because you don't have any brood to assess. But in my view, you should treat that as the worst possible scenario. So I assume that that's got foul brood in that hive now. I don't assume American foul brood because I think that would be a little bit too hard hitting with no evidence to say so. And I don't wanna burn the entire hive. So my advice from here on in is to take the hive, separate that, take the frames out, burn all of the frames, completely obliterate them. If you wanna melt them down to recover the wax, you can do that. And if you wanna put the frames through some caustic soda solution to clean them and sterilize them for reuse, you can do that as well. My personal take on it now is I don't do that. I don't recover the wax. I don't clean them up. I burn everything in a pit and I close it up. What you have left is an empty beehive, your roof, your queen excluder, and your boxes. At this point, you can move on to step three, which is clean and sterilize the beehive. Now, don't do this in the same apiary that the colony was in. You'd be amazed how easy it is to get cross-contamination just by moving things around in a single apiary. Do this in an isolated space, preferably away from any other colonies of bees. So if it's wood, really, really easy, you're just gonna scrape it down and scorch it, once you've scraped it and scorched it, that's gonna be good again to use. And if it's poly, I use a sodium hydrochloride solution, effectively really strong bleach, submerge the boxes in that. And once they've been submerged for 24 hours, you can just jet wash it off, really nice low pressure on the jet wash, and they're good to go. You can reuse the boxes again. The final thing I would do in that situation is just monitor the other colonies around that dead beehive. I wouldn't take any further drastic action, but you just wanna make sure there's nothing nasty spreading about in that apiary. And if there is something, you need to take action fast. So I hope you found that video useful. Please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. We've got loads more videos just like this.